Happy holidays uh, to all my YouTube fans. Graphi sign on. This is a little um, video on my solar sun tracker. So, as we could see here, I'm using a satellite dish mount and the um, satellite sun tracker or satellite dish tracker. I convert it over to a um, sun tracker. So, I open it up and convert the inside of the system and to use it for my solar tracker. I got four 100 watt panels on it. And there it is. And that's the eye up there. The uh, brain or the system that I'm using for this contraption of mine is in this igloo. So I use an igloo for um, housing the unit. Uh, so there it is. And what I have in here is a um, 12 volt AGM bike battery that I have in the back around here to move the motor. And that's my um, charge controller. And that's the um, sun tracker unit that I'm using. Works pretty great. So I bought this tracker unit and the uh, sensor up there. So it's an overkill for the, um, the battery. I have 100 watts on the battery. It's an overkill, but it's fine. I'm running a 12 volt system. I got 300 watts charging my panels, my batteries over there that used to be over there. So that's my system in here. And this uh, single axis tracker unit works uh, great. Tracks the sun perfectly. And uh, that's the battery voltage on the battery behind right now that we use to um, run the, uh, the tracker. So as you could see, I'm not yet finished with the wiring. That's a rough work right now. So eventually you won't see this wire here anymore. That's just an extension card that I'm using. All the wires are inside here. So, and it goes in here and goes underground. And that goes to the, um, the charge controller that's sitting by the gazebo to charge three um, batteries. It's a bit chilly now, so eventually I straighten all these things, but I just wanted to fine tune this tracker here in the winter and everything seems to be working fine. So once again, that's my um, solar tracker unit. little bike battery that's sitting behind here 12 volt bike battery that's sitting behind here that I bought from um, advanced auto parts and that's the voltage on the battery that's sitting behind here right now 13.3 volts and it's an old satellite dish mover I am using to um, as my tracker motor and it works great. And there it is. And those are my panel. One of the uh, 100 watt panels. And it's four of them I'm using. And that's a little eye up there for the uh, for the sun. And 
And as you could see how I constructed my uh, my brace or the bracket for the uh, solar panel. I'm using those aluminum uh, brackets, L brackets from Home Depot. And that's how it's constructed behind here. And it's well bolted together. And this is just a brace. So when the box is closed, that's what it looks like. It's also one waterproof. I don't have to worry about water getting inside there. And like once it will keep the uh, battery and the, the um, charge controller warm for the winter time. And that's the bottom of it. So what I did, I spread the upper section of the igloo. So that's what I used. These, I'm gonna put this in, uh, in, in you know, that wire cover to cover wires. Neat it up so you. But it's not done yet, YouTubers. I'm still working on it. It's a bit chilly out right now for the holiday. And that's my pole. And I have three and a half feet of the, um, this metal pole here, cemented in the ground. That's my system, my solar tracker, or uh, my sun tracker, and that's a control unit. And like I said, I converted this a satellite dish mover and it works perfect. The angling is great. So that's the elevation on it right now. Garfield sign off.